Welcome to a wheel abrasion, where we get to talk about wheels and why you should be working on them and maybe even building. Building would be fun. Maintaining is good, solid fun too. Mm -hmm. It also keeps you rolling down the road. We just released quite a few videos in the last few months mm -hmm. uh, that pertain to wheel building and wheel right. maintaining knowledge. In the past, we've done a few very short Tech Tuesdays, some fun little things about truing and turning, and sometimes how to, how to hold your spokes and little things like that. But we put it all together so you can really do some good work. The basic we started with was some knowledge on how to true them. Mm -hmm. Lateral true, radial true, tension. Dishing and centering. Yep, and then you're gonna combine that. If you look at those skills, you can take them and apply them to, how does this all go? Yeah, to assembling your own wheel. Yes. But to get there, we also had to include how to calculate your spoke length. That's right. Which is a, is a fun skill to learn. I think we both feel that these are very fun skills to learn. Mm -hmm. And they're not that complex. You just have to think about this as a system. Right, and there's definitely one, more than one way to do this. We do appreciate the comments that we get and we read the feedback loop that we have, mm -hmm. right? From, from you looking at things, commenting us, and then us coming back, well, you know, that's, that's right. Or why, why did we do it this way? Why did we lace the, the way we did, so? Yeah, it's interesting. So, you know, lacing, there's all kinds of different cross mm -hmm. patterns. Mm -hmm. there's, you can get all kinds of different numbers of spokes. You can have 20, right. 24, 28, 32, 36, Radial, 40. One cross, two cross, three cross, four cross. Yeah, you can, we can uh, weave them into a flower. Yes. There's all kind. we could have tied and soldered our spokes. Right. But there's a reason we chose to assemble in our assembly video that way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, different ways to, to build. Uh, one of the ways I've done and I've been taught Put all the spokes in the hub, all of them, and then you go straight around the wheel, lace them in. Can be done. It can, it can it's be done. a horrible way to teach. Horrible yeah. way to teach. And it, it can be fun, and it can be fast. It can be, but it's, practice. it's hard to get that, that process across. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's why the video, we're gonna show doing it in quarters, mm -hmm. so. You can even take it from that extreme of having all the spokes in the hub at one time, all the way back to plucking them in individually. Right, right. So the main thing is to learn to do it and you feel accomplished, change down the road if you want. Yeah. That's right. So when you built your first wheels, mistakes? I remember, I do it very, very well, long time ago uh, in high school and uh, it was in, in uh, Denver. And I'm uh, gonna build a wheel, it's my mom's rear wheel was trashed on her bike, so I'm gonna build my mama a wheel. So boy, aluminum rim, I'm there with the, the hub, I get it all finished. I'm also proud of it and I show the, the service manager, and oh, I, what, don't you, don't you love your mama? You didn't interlace that. And oh, I, I love my mama, I gotta. Oh, no! But does interlacing really matter? No. That's, comment, comment. Yeah, yeah, I don't <laughs> think it does. That's another good one. You can see a lot of wheels. You like interlacing? I don't like interlacing. I haven't built an interlace. I haven't interlaced a wheel build. That's, well, since I've Crossing them over there at the last cross interlace. So your first wheel? My first wheel, similar experience. I was at the bike shop and I had ordered a hub. I ordered a rim. I got some spokes and you know, I was just a guy hanging out at the bike shop sitting there and I pulled up, I think, Sheldon Brown's uh, method and, and went through that process. And I would then show the, the tech at the shop. I'd be like, what's, you know, here, what, I made it. And then he said, he would just, he looked over, nope. And so then I had to go back, disas you know, basically, so what I did, I looked at my wheel and I looked at another wheel that was already done and I figured out my mistake. And then I took it apart, put it back together, I'm done. Still, still not quite there. Try again, Truman. And so the third time I got it done and he's like, good work. Did you know what you, did you figure out what you made a mistake on the first time? And I, I did. 
and it made a lasting impression. Yep. So. Yep. So, and, and you're going to make mistakes if you're going to try and build, and that's okay. Enjoy your mistakes. The wheel building is a lot of different ways to, to enjoy it. One of the fun ways is simply planning it. Mm -hmm. yes. Thinking about what you're going to be doing with it. Yes. Okay, and then picking all of the parts that are going to build the components. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, um, this, I, I, this is my riding style. I think I can do these spokes on the drive side, these ones on the non-drive mm -hmm. side. I want a hub. You know, so let's say like this, a larger flange on the non-drive side. Not super common, but okay, I'm gonna do that. It's gonna make this part of my riding a little bit stiffer. Mm -hmm. it, there's a lot of fun in thinking about all that. Right, but what's important to you? Is it speed, let's go fast as possible, it's lightweight, let's have blade to spokes, or durability. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this ride cross country. I don't want to bother with no broken spokes, no nothing. This thing's got to last a long time. Going to ride through everything. Panniers loaded down, 80-pound yep, bike. We're looking at different things. Yep. So that's, that's fun. And then the process is fun. You're going to sit down, calm, quiet, lace it up, watch the video, pause, watch what Truman did, look at the, okay, I'm, I'm doing this, work it all through, and then pull it up tight, and then eventually go out and ride it, it's yeah. gonna be a beautiful thing. Yes. Start planning your next wheel build. Jump in the water. So when we were finishing up these, this wheel building video, our videographer and I, mm -hmm. we noticed that, you know, how we did ours, we broke it up into some different colors. So we did notice that it, it looked cool when it was spinning. And then we took it to the next level and, uh, he did some did some frame rate changing, and we started noticing that it can look really cool. And then we brought it, you know, sent it to Calvin. He wasn't here that day. He sent it to Calvin, and he was like, "Wow, you I can see all these hit cool the things." Roof in a happy way. It was so interesting, and it's 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 a way you look at your wheels and understand when you're riding a bike, the beauty is there. Right, that we yeah. want to share with you. The, a spinning, the spinning wheel, it really is what a bike is all about, right? I love looking at a bike just leaning against a wall, but it's nicer if it's moving. Mm -hmm. If somebody's on it or not, it doesn't matter, but if a moving bike, that spinning wheel, we want them moving, and when they spin, the things they do are quite dynamic and, and quite, quite fun. Quite fun. And then just not everything is perfectly perfect, and that's, that's perfect in its own way. It is. So um, we're going to roll some footage of some spinning wheels mm -hmm. uh, right now for you. And see what you can tell what's going on. Once you really start paying attention to what is actually causing these visual effects in this footage, you start paying attention to what it is. What are we looking at, Calvin? We want you to especially watch the rings, those concentric rings. That's the visual cross patterns. It's kind of fun that they're exactly not round. The wheel is very, very round, but the actual crossing between them may not be. Yeah, and how many propellers are there when it's spinning? Each color, the white, the red, the blue, the gold, how those all interact. Count those propellers and tell us in the comments. Man, I could watch those all day. Well, Calvin, you're in luck. Because our videographers, they put together an amazing montage and we're gonna leave you guys with that, so stick around. Big wheel, keep on spinning.